A warm welcome to all the nature lovers out there. This is your nature aquarist back with another episode of the series that is Aquascaping 101 for beginners. And uh, this is the third episode actually. And in the first episode, we busted the myths about you know the carpeting seeds. If you haven't watched it, please do go and watch it and you will know where they belong in the aquascaping community. I'll just show a demo where they belong. That's it. And the second episode was about the substrate additives that is nothing but ADA Super 4. And please do watch it because before watching the this uh, watching this episode, if you watch this, it will be really helpful for you. And with that, let us begin the third episode that is nothing but about substrates. And also before beginning a disclaimer all the products that you see in this video were you know, bought by me or personally purchased by me and this video is in no way sponsored by anyone and with that complete let us begin. Before going to the topic proper, for those of you actually you know who haven't subscribed and especially if you are a beginner, please consider subscribing because you know you will get a great deal of knowledge from watching these aquascaping 101 episodes. And with that, I'll just give you a brief intro of what you know the ADA substrate system is. It cannot actually be called as just you know substrate or substrates, it's a substrate system. And why I'm doing this is because you know I am an ADA ambassador, so it's my duty to do that. <coughs> and so the ADA substrate system contains four products. The first one being the Super 4, which I already explained in the previous episode. And if you haven't watched it, please do go and watch it. The second product is nothing but the power sand. The third one being the <coughs> the substrate layer, which is put on top of the power sand, and that is nothing but aqua soil amazonia and the fourth product is nothing but aqua soil amazonia powder version and now we'll get into the meaning of what the word substrate actually means i'm saying this because i've seen many videos uh, like you no know, uh, not a videos actually uh, the comment section of the videos where people have actually put can you please make a video on substrates or can you please explain what a substrate is so that is what I intend to uh, highlight in this episode and let's get to what the word substrate means. What the term substrate actually means is, you know, according to the Google dictionary, yes, I'm not using any book for my reference or anything. Nowadays, you know, most of things are available, you know, online. So <clears throat> the, just a brief definition of what a substrate is is that an underlying substance or layer that's what the Google dictionary states and coming to a more detailed explanation it says that the surface or material on or from which an organism lives grows or obtains its nourishment from so <clears throat> if you look at the first definition it means nothing but the substrate is anything you add in the bottom of an aquarium so um, it can be you know, uh, gravel decorative sand stones pebbles like gravel or anything like that so <clears throat> that's the basic meaning of what a substrate is but the second definition is what actually you know fits the uh, term for you know like uh, the meaning for a planted aquarium or a nature aquarium that is it states that uh, the it's a layer from which an organism grows or obtains its nourishment from so that you know clearly coins the term of what the substrate is in a nature aquarium way that is we grow live aquatic plants in the aquarium so they need the nourishment of course and the substrate system or like you know, plant of a planted aquarium is what we are going to talk about today not about the basic definition that is gravel sand or anything we are going to talk about the ada substrate system and with that the first product i already told you it was super 4 which was mentioned in the previous episode and let's get on to what a power sand is so what is power sand 
Poisson is nothing but a base layer substrate so it does not fit into any term that it's called as a substrate it's a whole thing you know which combines together as a substrate system so the power sand contains nutrients that is in organic and inorganic form and also along with that they also contain the you no know, the what is it sorry pumice stones yes the pumice stones are actually stones which uh, you know uh, contain uh, highly porous structures or holes or like microscopic holes so the nutrients they provide the nutrients in them are like for the growth of the aquatic plants they provide the nutrients to the root of aquatic plants and the inorganic nutrients which i mentioned they contain they are in a designed in a you know delayed release system that is once you fill up the water all the inorganic nutrients won't be immediately you know released into the water they will be released from time to time so that enables a good you know um, slow release system for the roots of the plants that is a nutrients and uh, the pumice stones or the volcanic rocks which you know i mentioned they have helps in the development of the bacteria that you know we gather is a super four and they help in you know not only development and also help in establishing and colonizing the bacteria in the pumice stones and the pumice stones in turn provide or help in providing a good circulation of water below so that the bacteria get enough oxygen because if they don't get that oxygen they will turn anaerobic and that is a completely different phenomenon which i will not explain now that will be in the future episodes maybe and let me show you what uh, power sand you know the product looks like so <clears throat> this is the basic product that is the power sand basic and this is a 2 liter bag just you know uh, remember this and this is the power sand advance and this is a 6 liter bag and also the medium size and the previous one to liter bag was the small size so both these products that is power sand basic and power sand advance come in three sizes that is small medium and large and uh, you might be thinking what is the difference between these two basic and advance what is the difference between power sand basic and advance if you ask me i'll tell you the basic definition of power sand which i gave at the beginning uh, is what they are basically but there is a minor difference in both of this this the power sand basic contains the nutrients with the uh, you know inorganic and uh, organic form along with the pumice stones and also uh, along with that they also contain the bacter 100 and clear super whereas the power sand advance contains even more nutrients several times more than the power sand basic and uh, they also contain uh, along with bacter 100 and clear super bc powder that is bamboo charcoal powder that is the basic difference between these two so how do you select a power sand or how do you know which is the right one that you can choose to create an aquascape of your own and the first one being the one that is here you can see the power sand basic and this one is the power sand advance and this is the 2 liter and 6 liter both of these come in 2 and 6 liter bags <clears throat> the power sand advance you know i told you it contains uh, much more nutrients than the power sand basic so if you are you know actually planning to uh, do a long time maintenance or uh, scape that is for a long time and also if you are planning to use you know plants uh, which are heavy root feeders that is the plants which require the nourishment through the roots mainly then of course you should go for the pause and advance <clears throat> in the other way or in the other sense if you are going with the simple aqua skip then you can go for the pause and basic then coming to the next criteria that is whether you need the small medium or the large one that you know uh, has a uh, clear selection criteria and that is definitely based on the size of your tank so let me tell you 
if you are going with the sorry if you have a tank with the height of 40 centimeters or below and a width that is the side to side uh, or the left to right you know measurement up to 60 centimeters then you can go with the small then uh, you know uh, height of 40 to 60 centimeters and the width of around 90 to 120 that is if you are considering the ADA 90p or the 120p that is a cube garden 90p or 120p then you should go with the medium and <clears throat> any uh, tank with a height above 60 centimeters and a width above 120 that is you can consider the ADA cube garden 150p or the 180p then you should definitely go for the pause and large version this is how you choose your optimum you know, nutrient medium uh, for your substrate system then with that complete let us move on to the next one so what is aqua soil amazonia i'll begin by showing you the package in the bag yes this is the bag this is a nine liter bag that they come in and you can see the image here <coughs> and there is one more product actually that is Amazonia 2 if you can see the Roman numeral 2 here that is what it represents and this is a successor product of the Aquasoil Amazonia and there is one more product which is actually available in the market now that is Aquasoil Amazonia version 2 which is the latest you know, uh, researched product which you can find <clears throat> and unfortunately uh, I don't have that with me and if I actually you know get one I will definitely put a video on that so the aqua soil Amazonia is a soil based substrate which you know actually uh, contains nutrients and organic acids or different kinds of stuff and they help in you know the growth or the development of the sorry uh, development of the roots of the aquatic plants because they grow and you know attach to these granules they are actually in a granule form and they attach to them <coughs> sorry and uh, with the you know uh, attachment they also act as you know good ph buffers that is, uh, if you tap water or you know whatever water you add does not contain uh, you know the required level of pH, these you know uh, aqua soil actually help in maintaining the pH for a very long period of time. And then, other than that, uh, they also help in the easy movement of water, like you know beneath and above the substrate, thereby ensuring the oxygenation of the substrate system because i told you the bacteria need oxygen so because they are in a granule form the water can easily pass through them then with that covered let us move on to aqua soil amazonia powder this bag that you see here is actually what aqua soil amazonia powder is and they don't you know they are actually almost same as the aqua soil amazonia powder but they have a much more finer sized granules and you might be thinking why do you need this actually if you are beginning an aquascape you know uh, only with tissue culture plants without adding fish of course in the initial stage then after adding the aquasoil amazonia you need to spread this uh, powder form of uh, amazonia like in a thin layer above the uh, aqua soil amazonia because uh, the tissue culture plants actually you know uh, are very uh, minute or you can consider them as really fragile so for them to develop and stick on to the you know substrate it takes a long period of time and with these final finer granules they will actually you know uh, stick on very well Otherwise, if you just use the aqua soil amazonia and use the tissue culture plants, there are chances that the plants will float up by themselves. Or, you know, if you already have a planter tank and you intend to, you know, uh, add some tissue culture plants, they will be, you know, 
brought up by the fish especially like the siamese algae eaters otocinclus or even the shrimps they will feed on the leaves and during that process the tissue culture plants will be raised up and they will end up floating on your tank surface otherwise uh, on the other hand these can be used in one more situation wherein if you are actually planning to you know uh, make carpeting plants or like in the foreground or some other sections you might be planning to you know uh, induce carpeting plants sorry plant carpeting plants and they are nothing but the monte carlo etsy cuba heliocaris pavula and okay there are many number of species so uh, these are the main ones that are commonly used in this hobby so that's why i'm mentioning them so if you're planning to make a carpet and if you add these above like wherever you like if it's in your foreground uh, and coming to the center or like off center and leading to the background you want a you know, full carpet area that is where you add these above the aquasoil amazonia so that the plants really you know grow well and spread even faster in the skin so <clears throat> with that covered the whole topic you know of substrates have been covered now you might be wondering why am i just showing the packets of all these or anything and not showing the contents or contents of what are inside this yes okay before showing what is inside uh, you know the, all those packets why not we have a toast and yes uh, this is the third episode right so I'll have you know, three shots of wine for you and yes they are right below this table let me take them and the first shot of wine second one and the third one so <laughs> there's no wine actually sorry for the chicory these are the products that i actually you know showed you in packets and i couldn't find you know clear glass bowls in my house and when i searched in the far corners of my house i found these so i thought why not i show them <coughs> in these glasses and yes i know you might not be able to see them clearly and this is the power sand which you know contains the volcanic rock or in the pumice stones and this is the aquasoil amazonia and this is the aquasoil amazonia powder so with the three shots of wine <laughs> let us conclude this episode of course don't worry i will leave a video about what these look like you know uh, like comparison of the sizes at the end of the video so please make sure you watch till the end of the video and also please consider subscribing to my channel for such more informative videos and with that this is your nature request signing off bye bye